On top of the Fulton Jail being way overcrowded, there are sections like this one here that they can't use or shouldn't use, and yet they had been used and part of the deplorable conditions. An inmate complains he needs to get out of the county jail to go see a judge. The sheriff, Pat Labatt, allowed the public to see inside. And again, what I'm mentoring, mentioning with the simple battery, you can be charged with simple battery for just spitting on someone. And with this man being schizophrenic, who knows? He could have spit on someone. He could have bumped into the wrong person. They said, ah, police. This is in 2022. So again, things still were going crazy during COVID. I don't know what, why, what the details of his indictment were or his charge were. But something that simple and this man lost his life. It's crazy. Um, the independent autopsy, which former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick helped pay for, confirmed much of the information in the medical examiner's report, but determined that the cause of Thompson's death was a cardiac arrhythmia due to criminal neglect. Criminal neglect. Criminal neglect. I'm going to keep saying that. So these... <laughs> Whoever's running this, I'm not going to say names because I'm in Fulton County. So, hey, listen, but Sheriff Labot, you got some explaining to do, man. This criminal neglect is. That's on you. It's on you, sir. Colin Thompson's death, one of the most deplorable in custody deaths in the history of America. Attorney Ben Crump said the family's, commission, the family's commissioned autopsy determined that the Georgia man did not receive the treatment that he needed for his mental illness. Major contributing causes, untreated schizophrenia, dehydration, malnutrition, and extensive and severe body insect infestation, Crump described, which we heard in the video. Crump des described the jail cell that Thompson was living in was like a torture chamber. And said he lost nearly 30 pounds while he was staying in his cell. They said it was innumerable how many bed bugs, how many bed bug bites were on his body, he said, pointing to the autopsy report. Jail records reportedly reveal that the detention officers and medical staff at the jail noticed Thompson's deteriorating health, but did nothing to help him, leading to his untimely death. For 93 days there was a severe neglect for a mentally ill citizen crump said and for about 40 of them he didn't get any medical treatment at all crump described the jail as a cancer at the heart of fulton county and demanded that the county take steps to make a medical or i'm sorry to make a radical change speaking at a press conference nc naacp president attorney uh Gerald Griggs said that Thompson's family must be made whole and that someone must be charged with his death. It's time for Georgia to live up to its civil rights banner, starting with LaShawn Thompson, Griggs said. Thompson's brother, Brady McRae, said the discovery of what his older brother went through was devastating for his family. It's not enough that the bed bugs and lice ate my brother to death, McRae said. It's the neglect that affects me the most. McRae said one of his brothers had a mental breakdown after seeing the conditions in which Thompson was living at the jail. And we heard that earlier. Following Thompson's death, Fulton County Sheriff Pat Labatt. Accepted the resignations of three leaders at the jail. In a statement, the sheriff's office acknowledged the dilapidated and rapidly eroding conditions of the facility. The sheriff's office has also launched an internal investigation into Thompson's death and is reportedly addressing the sanitation and infestation problems at the facility. This article was written a year ago. So do y'all think they've actually addressed it? What? We understand and have said this publicly. This is absolutely unconscionable. Point blank, Labot said at a press conference with the family. 
Let's check out this video. This is a tour. Five, the Fulton County Sheriff Jeez. opened the doors to his jail today to show the extremely poor conditions that he's trying to fix. As Fox 5's Morse Diggs reports, the spotlight has been on the jail since the death of a prisoner whose body was covered with bugs. On top of the Fulton jail being way overcrowded, there are sections like this one here that they can't use or shouldn't use, and yet they had been used and part of the deplorable conditions. An inmate complains he needs to get out of the county jail to go see a judge. The sheriff, Pat Labatt, allowed the public to see inside. Every inmate, right. every detainee, and every cell. Labatt says he will look at every floor and talk to the inmates. Some continue to be curled up in doggy style plastic trays due to overcrowding. And conditions made even worse because some of the jail sections cannot be used. There's actually a leak behind the wall. We saw cell doors off hinges, water from leaks, and other things we will not put on this broadcast. One inmate mm -hmm. told Labatt he's not been able to shower since Saturday. I came up here Saturday and we have our intake. We took a shower when we were coming up for intake. That was it. The highly publicized death of one inmate who sustained bug bites had been housed on a different medical floor. But that death put the full coat jail and the sheriff in the spotlight. We have been, you know, disgusting. This kind of help. We're in crisis. Labat told me he believes the rank and file were afraid to go over their bosses' heads Look at that, to let him know how bad things had gotten. Now, he successfully persuaded Atlanta Mayor Dickens to allow him to use the downtown city jail for extra beds. But here's the problem. He has to move already short manpower from Rice Street to supervise transferred prisoners. Are you restricted somewhat because you're already on a manpower crunch here, so you can only do it in a phase? So what we've done is, and yes, we're doing it in phases because right. of manpower. And the sheriff wants to make it clear he's not asking for a fancy new jail. He calls what's needed a replacement jail. You've seen these conditions here today. It explains why. From Northwest Atlanta, I'm Morris Diggs, Fox 5 News. Shout out to Morris. And now it seems like they're singing a different tune. They're saying, well, you know, we could renovate things. We can fix it. The Department of Justice said these are fixable. <laughs> what also did the Department of Justice say? Well, let's go back and look at it. I'm sure y'all remember, but I want to point this out. What did they say? <sighs> Failing to provide adequate medical and mental health care, confining incarcerated people in dangerous, restrictive housing conditions without due process and in a discriminatory manner. It starts at the top. Family members say they want the county to launch an investigation, which thankfully we have two investigations, one by the Fulton County Sheriff's Office and another by the Atlanta Police Department are ongoing. Once completed, they'll be turned over to the Juro, Bur Georgia Bureau of Investigation. Responding to Thompson's death, the county board has given the sheriff's office an additional five point three million to provide upgrades at the jail. including increased monitoring in the psychiatric and mental and medical units and more frequent high level sanitations of those units. Where did this 5.3 million go? Because if that's the case and this happened a year ago, why did the security team have to pull out? What, what did we do with this 5.3 million of my tax dollars of Amy's tax dollars? Of so many of y'all who were in Fulton County it's tax dollars. Where did that go? The family is planning to file a civil lawsuit over the death as they should. And I assure you they will win. The Fulton County jail has been plagued with numerous issues over the years. A deputy was recently fired for allegedly opening doors for an inmate. Officers are under suspicion for allowing inmates to order from restaurants. An inmate reportedly bit off part of a deputy's ear and a female officer was caught on camera being intimate with an inmate. Well, we all know who that was. She's fine, by the way. 
In February, a detention officer was arrested after being accused of not protecting an inmate from a fit from physical harm and aiding and abetting during the commission of a crime. Uh, this is absolutely insane. And I knew things were bad. I know y'all knew things were bad, but. We're going to continue to report on this. I'll be clipping this up and dropping the videos. Hopefully when y'all see them, make sure you share it with as many people as you can. Let them know what's going on so we can continue to keep this conversation going. Because not only being here in Fulton County, but seeing how many people this is affecting and knowing that if it wasn't for this trial, a lot of us wouldn't even be talking about it. It's so important. And I appreciate y'all helping the conversation move forward as well.